Hi, this is a different structure than what I normally do. Uh, this is an off-the-script display of how I like to draw characters with curly hair. This was inspired by a little conversation I had with the user DankMemes482 on Reddit where they said that they hated drawing curly hair, and I said, oh, I love drawing curly hair. This is not an explanation, I think I just I just sent them a little sketch of what I usually do when I draw curly hair, and I thought, like, you know what, this isn't a sufficient explanation, so here's a little off-script me talking about my process. Now, I think the important thing when drawing is to study shapes. I, I would think that a lot of art teachers would tell you that. And the way that I like to do that is by tracing things. So here's a little, this is a little hairstyle chart of a bunch of men with different textures of curly hair, which is like wavy and like tighter and tighter curls. Literally just by breaking down shapes, if we follow like the silhouette, like you kind of get this, they remind me of rolling hills type shape. You can sort of find like these curled shapes. Curly hair, it's like a spring. Someone like this guy, he's got bigger springs. And what I like to do specifically, because like the spring shape kind of spirals, like I like to pull that in and kind of do big loops where I, I feel like, like, these guys, I would draw that type of shape more. This guy, because he has longer hair, um, you can do kind of like this... I don't want to call it lumpy. That's just for the basic silhouette. When you want to go in with line art, you can go in with a smaller thickness to outline that. This is a small canvas. Kind of go in and define those lines. I am not that good with like denser textures, but I, I would say like just kind of getting those basic shapes in like these these little uh, little rolling hills. Because I don't draw like 100% realistically, I I like to look at fictional characters and see how their hair is abstracted. So. I have assembled a bunch of characters that I like, and I've kind of categorized them into what shapes they have. Like, for here we've got these big swirls, then uh, over here, like, these are almost like corkscrews. You can see it uh, most of all with rarity. These big kind of, how do you describe it? Like a cinnamon stick, where they, they both have like that shape of the... Uh, swirl, but I, there's a little more thickness to it. Especially like Steven, like he's got a very abstracted kind of style where like you can tell he's supposed to have curly hair and it's it's about like getting that volume. Like you got the big lumps where you can see the curls kind of like going in, but then over here, like the, the hair is still curling but it's tapering off because that's at the end of the hair. Um, you can see it over here as well. Like those little ends of the curls where his hair is like starting to become undone. And I just like to do like big loops. Let's, let's trace out Liza's curls here. You just kind of have to pull out like all these big, like, big shapes. So with these big curls, it's literally just doing these big loops, these big swirls and spirals. For a denser character, curls are so thick that you only get this, uh, like, basic shape. Like, if you wanted, we could- let's snazz up Steven a little bit. Like, just to em emphasize the curls, uh, like, in the fact that the hair is this curly texture, like, I just like to do these little swirls. So, like, I pulled up characters, because we were talking about Fear and Hunger in the Reddit conversation. You can see with Osa, he has, like, a lot of curls. And it's just about, like, you know, building up... 
the feeling of the hair. With Marina, like, she has the bigger, kind of like rarity style, like, big corkscrews with her pigtails. With those, like, you kind of go around and around. Pretty much the curls follow like a cylindrical shape. It's just been stretched out. Like if you take a slinky and you stretch it, the outside, like what we can see, goes over here. But this line is continuing down here. We're not seeing this part of the hair, but it continues like that. You have the basic coil. You can um, make the curl tighter by just like condensing it. So if the we imagine the lighter pink parts as this back part of the curl and the darker parts as the front, uh, the way to make that curl tighter is to just put these front parts closer together. So going back to Marina, she kind of has pretty condensed back parts. The outer parts are pretty close together. So she's got like these tight but otherwise big springs. With Marco, we're gonna turn down the, the opacity a little bit. It's, it's, he's kind of like Steven in that like he kind of has these rolling hills and the way that the artist fills that out is just kind of emphasizing the like top crest of the curl because the whole thing would be kind of like going down but because it's being covered by the other hair, there are some parts of his hair that are kind of escaping, quote unquote, so you'll see the ends. Legitimately, just like tracing shapes is something that really helped me learn to draw, especially when I was a kid. I would get tracing paper and I would trace, like I would either like print out sc screenshots of stuff that I liked or I would like trace stuff in like how to draw books with tracing paper just to like figure out those shapes. So this is a drawing that I that I'm doing, or well I finished this drawing actually, for the Marco Olivia Month art challenge. Like we can see here, um, like I have the kind of lumpy rolling hills. I have the uh, big swirls to kind of emphasize the shapes of the curls. You can even have these, like, these are reminding, reminding of like cresting waves, like what a surfer would ride. So I think I'll, I'll do like a little demonstration. Like I kind of tend to like rough out the shape of like where I want his hair to go. I'm doing these big kind of, uh, the big rolling hills that part of the, the hair part, like you can imagine, like, this hair's going this way, this hair's going that way. Um, for the back of the neck, I kind of like to pull the hair up, like it's springing, so... It's turning into Luca. This is turning into my boy Luca. Let's give him sideburns. A little bit of sideburns. Kind of bangs. I'm kind of giving him a- like, if we're drawing Marco here, I'm giving him more volume than in his uh, sprite here. Like, it's shorter here, but I'm having fun, so we can we can we can give him fluffy hair. So if I were to go in to do line art, we'd kind of trace out. Um, I just kind of rough in where I have. Um, my guide of like where I want the hair to sort of go. And I kind of do things rough when I do curly hair. Uh, like there's there's broken overlapping lines, it's not all the way filled in. I like to have 
lines that are concrete and filled in because that makes it easier to fill in with color. And obviously, like, you can erase if you want. The line doesn't look right. And, like, this can even work for, like, sketching on paper, just, uh, having a light sketch and going in with a pen or with a darker pencil. It's just, I, I just prefer doing digital art. So now that I'm going on cleanup duty. Adding in more of those end curls. If I want to, sometimes I'll add in the big spirals. Something else that helps with the curl is if we imagine this as the front part that we see, kind of like follow through with the inner part of the curl, like this is behind this part. It really emphasizes the volume, like the hair would be kind of falling like this. Which makes me think of how Rarity's tail is with the big kind of... They remind me of ribbons almost, like curled wrapping paper ribbons. So yeah, that's how I like to do curly hair, like just this variety of like the swirls, the rolling hills, and the kind of end bits. It kind of leads to this very fluffy look, like a little bit of yarn. As a kid I had my hair always pulled up in a ponytail, and it, it was like I had a bunch of brown yarn at the back of my head. I still am not satisfied with how I color and shade curly hair. Like with straight hair, I feel like it's kind of... Actually, this is a bad example. With like straight hair or like slight waves, it's easier to, to kind of... Like you have the long lines and you can shade in quite easily because it's like, okay, uh, this plane right here is kind of facing inward, uh, so that would be shaded. This is facing outward and the light will be hitting it. Whereas with curly hair, um, especially if it's dark hair, like with like Marco or Osa, uh, it's hard to get those highlights in. Uh, because it's not as, like, I guess uniform, like, you do get, like, the underside of the curls. Let's just do it on here. Can you tell? I'm off script. I'm talking like an idiot. You know what, let's make him, like, a lighter brown hair. This brush that I downloaded, because, uh, the hair outline is set to a clipping layer, I can just do this. Right, so we have our hair color. What I've been doing lately is, uh, I'm actually not sure if this is a default brush in Clip Studio Paint, but I like to use the wet wash and just kind of have a bigger uh, preset, but I'm holding my hand down lightly and kind of like pushing in these washes of a darker color, but it's like, kind of lumpy. Like I'm imagining the sun the sun hitting from like the upper right hand corner. Um, so like just kind of getting in some different uh, shades in here. And to make the highlights, I do have a hairbrush that I like. I'm not sure where I downloaded this. This might have been not on the CSP store. And I kind of here, you know what? Pink would kind of be a good demonstration. Like, I'm making these, like, the rolling hills again. However, you gotta get it to blend, so putting it on blending mode. It's not blending in as if I used the base hair color. 
But like, imagine these are highlights. This is how I would get the highlight on the curls. Just kind of emphasizing the outer curve of it. I really hope that this is at least a half decent explanation. Um, again, off script, I'm not that good at explaining things like off the cuff like this. I literally have notes in front of me of what I want to talk about, but if they're sufficient. Like, this is just... you get it, you get it. You get the big swirls, the rolling hills, and the little crests. And that's just for one texture. I hope this helps as a base legitimately just like tracing out like characters with different curly hair, tracing out like actual people and figuring out the silhouettes and the direction in which the hair goes is such a good way of just figuring out the shapes. Like this is a whole big shape, this is a whole big shape, and then it helps you with like if you're trying to draw like a more cartoony character or if you're going more realistic and you're just kind of filling those in. Experiment. Don't be afraid to trace for your studies and legitimately just have fun with it. There's, I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. This is just my way. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.